Five Unusual People in the World, Part 88. Hello, you guys. I'm Kisha, and wish you all a new day full of energy. I bet every parent in this world wants their child to be born and grow up with a healthy body, but that is not always possible because there are many people born with a strange disease that makes a part of their body different. Let's meet them through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Jian Chango. Jian Chango was born in 1975 in Jiaoqing City, China, with a strange face caused by giant tumors on his face. The tumor was as big as a ball and bigger than the head. Jian has lived and endured pain and alienation for many years. He even made a silly decision to make off from home so as not to affect his family. He first noticed a small bump on his right cheek in 1995. He felt a little pain, so he went to the doctor, and the doctors told him it was just gingivitis. But then the bump grew bigger and bigger until he realized it was a tumor on his face. I have never seen anyone whose gingivitis later developed into cancer, but those doctors may be right. And with the unfortunate condition of his family, in 1998, Zhuangguo made the silly decision of leaving home to live a nomadic life alone, as he didn't want to be a burden to his father and mother. The tumor on his face made him look ugly. The whole right eye was pushed until it was on the left. His nose was flat, and the mouth was deformed. Zhen's life seemed to have ended until one day, doctors in Guangzhou Province, China, told Zhen that his tumor could be surgically removed. But the probability of success is not high and can even be fatal. Fortunately, the giant tumor on Chen's face was removed. Chen went home to visit his family soon after being discharged from the hospital. A beautiful story about a beautiful woman who suddenly changed her appearance, becoming a very beautiful woman. Number four, Nguyễn Thị Đăng. Nguyễn Thị Đăng. Was born in 1951 in Hanam, Vietnam. Her whole body emerged with large, round lumps, and if it was the first meet, no one would not feel shivers. Villagers are used to calling Mrs. Deng by the scary name, the woman with the devil's body. At the age of 19, she discovered she had a terrible disease. The whole body suddenly heated up, causing very uncomfortable itchy blisters and extremely painful sensations. They appeared all over her face and neck, as big as her fingertips, and on her belly and back, they were much larger. Some of which were even as big as eggs. Because of her poor family condition, she has few opportunities to see doctors. Her father took her twice to the doctors and take medicine. After a few treatments, her body felt less burning, but the blisters still appeared and were increasing. At this point, the feeling of pain was gone. But her body was replaced by a scary rough skin. Doctors said she has skin cancer, a very rare disease and very difficult to treat. However, because her family was poor, she decided to live with the disease and let the disease torment her. After her father died, she changed her temper and did not want to interact with anyone. She avoids all questions, does not contact and talk to anyone. Up to now, she still hasn't known the cause of her disease. Next is the story of a strange and somewhat pitiful twins. I think you should have a loved one by your side while watching this part. Number three, June and Jennifer Gibbons. June and Jennifer Gibbons were born on April 11, 1963. They are twin sisters and of Indian nationality, and then moved to Wales. Since childhood, they have had strange signs. They communicated with each other in a strange language of their own, even making eye contact, and they just talked to each other, barely communicating with anyone else, even their parents. Because of this, June and Jennifer are dubbed the quiet twins. They were often bullied at school, but didn't care about it. The twins had a scary pastime of playing with dolls. The two would create elaborate fantasy worlds and wrote full biographies, including specific dates and ways of dying for each doll. They also had their own notebook about young people with grisly crimes. During that time, June and Jennifer also began to show the dark side of the relationship. Both of them even tried to kill each other. 
They were sent to a mental hospital and spent 12 years living in hell there. There, the twins tried to commit suicide many times without success. Jennifer discovered that her heart beat normally when June was not around, but when she was with her twin sister, it beat faster. The two girls then agreed that if one died, the other would start talking and live a normal life, believing that death is necessary. In the end, Jennifer agreed to make the sacrifice. A few days after being discharged from the hospital, Jennifer sat beside June on the bus, resting her head on June's shoulder and passing away very peacefully. According to the doctors, Jennifer died suddenly from myocarditis and no clear cause was found. Jennifer's death is a great mystery to many. After Jennifer's death, June began to talk, living life like any other normal person. June got married, had children, and visited her sister's grave every week. Everyone in this world wants to look good in front of everyone. That also leads to some silly cases like the next special person we will meet. Number 2. Hugo Hernandez Garcia Hugo Hernandez Garcia from Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, is a very special person with a crazy idea. He has lived with a disfigured face for 17 years. He used to be a handsome stylist, but he did some pretty weird things with his face. He injected baby oil into it, believing it to be a low-cost alternative to collagen. The reason for this is because Hugo wanted to look more like a woman. He started a series of beauty treatments in 1997. Initially, he beautified himself with cosmetics. To make his skin more perfect, he then decided to do the surgery himself. During a surgery, he injected baby oil into his face, thinking it would have the same effect as collagen. This is certainly a bad idea, even in theory, but Hugo was so blinded by his addiction to beauty products that he didn't realize what baby oil could do. Immediately after the procedure, his skin became red and flushed, and various parts of his face were unusually swollen. It's really sad when you look at Hugo's before and after photos. Not only was his appearance ruined, but Hugo's health was also affected quite badly. Although his condition is painless, he was dependent on more than 15 medications a day. Unfortunately, six months after Hugo's amazing story was revealed, he passed away in January 2015. His last wish was to have a flawless face again. After a hard working day, everybody wants to have a good night's sleep, but some people in this world don't literally sleep at all. Number 1. Li Jianjing Li Qianjing from Henan province, China, is a very special woman with her ability to be awake, an ability that no one would have imagined. She said she hasn't slept in 40 years but has never felt tired or sleepy. The last time Li Jianjing slept was when she was 5 or 6 years old. Li's husband confirmed his wife apparently hasn't slept since their marriage. Thinking that his wife had insomnia, he bought her medicine but it didn't work. The local doctors were also unable to change the condition even though she worked with them many times. A team of doctors used advanced sensors to monitor the woman for 48 hours and discovered that she was, in fact, asleep, but not in the way most of us are used to. Brainwaves show that while sleeping, Lee does not close her eye and is able to converse with her husband. Doctors describe the phenomenon as sleeping while awake, a state similar to sleepwalking which means that some of Lee's nerves and organs remain active during sleep. Lee was fooled by her own brain. When at rest, part of her body goes to sleep but doesn't need to close her eyes. Due to the abnormal way that her body and brain rest, Lee believes she hasn't slept in 40 years. The woman didn't sleep for more than 10 minutes a day, so technically, she didn't sleep. Those are the strange people for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and continue to support me. The world is full of all the strange people waiting for you to discover in my channel. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.